What's up everyone, the details on the 1.3 update are now finally out and with it comes a couple juicy things guys. So without a further ado, here are the 7 most important things that were revealed. Some of it you may already know from the previous teasers, but a lot of it I'm sure you guys won't know. First up, the 4 star characters and the new banners. So the Xiao banner will have Diona, Beidou, and Shenyang, and the Kaching banner will have Ningguang, Bennett, and Barbara. Second up is the Lantern Ride event will not start immediately after the update, but on the February 10th. There is the 5 Flushes of Fortune event though that will start immediately after the update. Third pretty big thing is Zhao just got a story quest, and it will be released right after the update. And speaking of quests, there are going to be 27 new world quests added after 1.3. And it includes one quest on this super mysterious character Dane's life, so it's cool that we'll get a quest that finally revolves around him. Fourth thing is that Geo characters are going to be getting a huge buff. I'm sure most of you already know, but Zhongli is getting a massive buff to his stats based on his health, but along with it are buffs to the Geo characters in general. First off, the Geo Elemental Resonance will be changed to Reed, instead of the increased damage or attack damage by 15% when a character is shielded, it will now read increased shield strength by 15%, and additionally, characters protected by a shield will have the following special characteristics. Damage dealt increased by 15%, dealing damage to enemies will decrease their Geo resistance by 20% for 15 seconds. That is huge utility for Geo characters. It's pretty awesome to see that. But that is not it. So in addition, Geo shields will be now given a flat 150% physical damage and elemental damage absorption. So this only really works for Zhongli and Noelle's Geo shields, but it's a still a huge buff for Geo characters in general. And at number 5, on the 11th to the 26th of February, there's going to be a new daily login event that will give you 10 free intertwined fate. So if you guys didn't know, intertwined fate is the ones you actually use for the limited time banners, so it's going to be 10 free pulls for Xiao. That's pretty nice. And 6, Spiral Abyss will be revamped. Floor 12 will now have new monsters, and I'm guessing they're going to be adding some of the Geovish haps as well as the Primo Geovish haps. Plus, there's going to be 3 new Moon Phase boosts that will be coming out. And then finally, it is revealed that the new gadget, the Parametric Transformer, will let you convert enhanced materials into character XP materials. If you don't know what those are, just think of Adventurer's Experience in Hero's Wit. We will finally be able to convert our materials and manually craft character XP. Thank the heavens for that, guys. It's not really known how the exact conversion will work, but the gadget as we know will work once a week after which it has a cooldown, you have to use it the next week. But it's nice to know that we can finally be able to craft character XP materials. Those are the 7 juiciest things from the new 1.3 update notice. There are some other minor things that I left out, so I'll leave the link down below if you want to look at the rest. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.